I've come down to Kensington in London where rehearsals for the Science Museum Live's energy show is in full swing. And for what I've seen, it looks pretty explosive. Excuse me, young man. There appears to be a direct flouting of regulation. Where are your ear defenders? Okay, your goggles? I see no safety equipment at all. This is disgusting. Out of my laboratory. So the unique thing I think about Science Museum Live's energy show is that what we've tried to do is we've tried to take the best elements of live science shows, of which there are, there are many great ones out there, and put it in a, in a, in a different sort of theatre context. So what we've got is we've got a very uh, clear story with characters rather than presenters and set in this amazing kind of steampunk lab that we find that they have to explore and find their way around. The show is aimed at everybody really, we, we're writing our, our, our age range is seven and above but what we hope is that there is enough content and enough uh, engagement there that everybody who comes to see it will get something out of it. It might be a reminder of stuff they learnt at school, it might be something they're learning at the moment but we hope there's something for everyone in it. The show's touring for quite a long period of this year. We're starting here in London at the Science Museum itself in April, and we then hit the road and visit 34 different towns before returning here at the end of July. So it runs all the way through the Easter holidays and onto the summer. The science behind this one is simple. Each of these bottles contains a mixture of hydrogen and air, which contains oxygen, making this highly reactive. We'll load the bottle into the top of the rocket launcher. And here you can see we've got three already loaded up. In the show, the bottle lids will be removed and when Phil ignites the rockets, the chemical reaction will send the rockets shooting into the audience. 